as soon as we get into space. The Kraken attacks. What have we learned from this lesson? Obviously nothing. We're still going to be launching this rover into space. Anyway, hello guys, I'm Moral Beta, your Welsh engineer, and welcome to Kerbal Quest Series 2, Part 29, Duna Rover Base Kraken. <laughs> yes, I inserted Kraken into the title, and why not? Anyway, this is a mission to build, well, <laughs> to build, to send a rover, a rover base, huge mungus thing. This is going to be put into orbit with a single launch, so you could call it an SST, I suppose. However, someone requested this, and I thought, why not? A huge base into orbit, and they send it on the way to Duna. Now, I tried to do this in a single launch, and then send it on the way to Duna. However, uh, yeah, problems ensued. Also, if you want to be Kerbal, don't forget to type Kerbal in your comment. And if you want to have a different name other than your YouTube name, then mention it. Anyway, as we get into orbit, and as I try to learn how to use the the Kerbal Cam tools... No, was it Kerbal Cam? It is Camera Tools. And after learning that, we finally get into space. And this is where the fun happens. Yes, whenever you go into space, the Kraken always attacks. But first off, let's do a 360 as a celebration of getting into space, or just about... And let's talk about comments. Anyway, as usual, I always read out your comments. And yes, I switch off the sound when I'm playing KSP. That way I can add the music in later. That makes things a lot easier. That means I'm not speeding up the audio. And then just as I go to use camera tools again, the Kraken attacks. Yeah, at this point, at least I've done a quick save by here, but every time I load, the Kraken attacks. I tried to set parts to... so they're not auto-strutted, because I have everything strutted, auto-strutted to the heaviest part, but no, nothing works. So what I decided to do, let's go back to the VAP, rebuild the rocket, take that part off, and then send this back into our orbit. At least that gave me the opportunity to add RCS to the rocket, because bloody hell, this was hard. Anyway, now we have it into orbit, we do have no need for these boosters, because they are flimsy in orbit for space travel. They are only rated for atmospheric boosting up into orbit travel. Anyway, from the first comment, we have Morgan Plumstead. First, he's also a member of my... Discord server, so if you ever you want to join Discord, I think I forgot to put the link in the last episode. But it's cool, you get to chat. I'm in voice chat now and again. Not often. I, you normally see me in there now and again, so yeah. Anyway, next part of the mission, we had to launch this up into orbit. This is the pushing stage. However, even this mission is full of problems, like the boosters hitting the other booster getting us into orbit, so adding some R's, SRBs, if I can get the letters out in the right order, does the trick, and we finally can get into orbit. Yeah, I know the staging pit is not right, that's because I used engines which were the wrong size, and I clipped them out to the rocket a bit, otherwise they'll definitely hit the centre rockets. But yeah, other than that, this looks cool. And at least I just about get into orbit with the boosters. And we just about get into orbit. We only had to use a bit, a tiny bit of the booster stage that we're going to use to get to Duna. However, that has a lot of Delta V for this mission. And as you can see in the distance, the boosters are still in orbit. We have huge bullet like things traveling around Kirby at two, over 2,500 meters per second. Anything that's going to come in contact with them will blow up. And it's at uh, 125 kilometers up, by the look of it. Uh, what orbit are we at? Yeah, 80 by 147. Yeah, unfortunately, this is close to the 100 kilometer mark where we're going to launch things into orbit. Ah, great job, Mark. Awesome engineering. We'll have to clean that up someday. <laughs> anyway, as we go to the Kerbal Music, uh, we have Kur. Carta fan YouTube. You want to do a collab? Lol, I'm a fan. Well, I would like to do col uh, collabs, but 
However, most of the time I don't have time. And that's the problem because I got a full time job as well as doing this Kerbal Quest stuff and uh, some tutorials, which I, this is why a reason I rushed this video out. And it's a shorter one than usual, than the usual 20 minutes. I think 15 minutes might be quite good length or just under 15 minutes. I don't know, I'm rambling on. Anyway, Corey Newhart. Can you make a fully reusable rocket to the man and back? That sounds good. In fact, that gave me th got, got me thinking of doing an Apollo-style mission, but for the reusable rockets. Every stage reusable. I was wondering, do I stage it all or one mission where we just take the entire rocket to the man? It's, that's not. That wasn't part of your request. I could easily do. A rocket which every stage returned to Kerbin, I suppose. I think. I hope. <laughs> anyway, yes, that's a possibility. Anyway, A77E Kerbal, you have been added. You are on this mission. I spike Kur Gaming. Can I be a Kerbal? I don't care where you go. You do want to care where you're going. You're going to Dooner, man. Blazer. Ah, I'm so glad I made this video. Oh, I'm so glad you made this video. I was gonna say, what do you mean you made this video? I made this video. Yeah, me. <laughs> I read that wrong. Right, John Benson. You never made me a Kerbal. Don't worry, you are a Kerbal. Le Le Leoti Maxi Maximov says, I think this channel deserves more subscribers. Me too. However, having less subscribers means that I have the possibility of answering most of the comments that I get. I'm talking to you guys, so yes, it makes things a lot more manageable. Especially in the comments section. Anyway, <laughs> Kenny Kolar Barbas. Can I be a Kerbal named Star Flippy? Flippy Flippy? <laughs> yes, you can. I burst spider. How's my birthday in just five days later? from today and I have launched launched I'm going to launch my Saturn 5 awesome stuff I have to say that the Kerbal missions I mean real life missions is so like small missions compared to the Kerbal universe that I've seen on YouTube and everything however I have to admit create recreating a mission on Kerbal Space Program is awesome Rather than having a huge rover launch into orbit without putting a fairing on it and everything. Yes, I am mad. And a neutral predator. Give me an idea to comment. Well, next time you could comment about the weather around the KSC or something. And he said, I'll do that next time. <laughs> I wonder what his comment's going to be on this video. Anyway, now we're coming for a deorbit. I'm going to be a bit choosy about some of the comments I read at the moment from now on. Anyway, looking for the Kerbals and deciding to do a bit of cinematics looking back and forth the Kerbals. I realise that Kerbal Cam does not have a free type of camera that you can use to look at things. Yes, I I lazily led, left this in the editing. And I decide, okay, that's a good shot. Right, let's do this properly. Okay, start and look at all Kerbals. There, now let's go descend. Ah, <laughs> oh, I am mad. Anyway, squirt. What mods did you use? Also, how would you switch between craft without going to map mode? And when you land on the man and get both Kerbals out and bring one back in the craft, how do you switch to the other to get him back in? Well, you use the square bracket keys on the keyboard. That makes you, that switches you between crafts or Kerbals that are close by. So, yep, there you go. Tip of the day. Nathan Rublas, Pickle Rick Kerman. I think I missed that one, and you put Kermin, not Kerman. That way, if, if you... I, I filter the search by Kerman, so then I miss a lot of comments that don't type it right or something. So yeah, try to make sure you type it correctly. I'll try and remember to add you. Anyway, Ender Animation, I meant to give my channel a shout out. I haven't looked at it, but... I think I did look at it actually, you haven't got much content on it. What you need to do is make sure you get a lot, uh, con not a lot of content, but have something variety. People won't subscribe to if you've got just a couple of videos. It's hard work in that adding a load of videos and everything, but yeah, you have to make an effort to it. 
say, all right, I have to give up this to do this. So yeah, you know, I'm giving up time to watching TV that, you know, there was a nice movie on downstairs. I think it was Doctor Strange. I'll have to watch that again another time. Yes, put a bit of effort in, do some research as well. Anyone who wants to do a YouTube channel, do some research because there's a lot of stuff in there, there's metadata, and it's hard to get viewed above the crowd and everything else. Even my videos are doing poorly compared to a lot of other people, like Matt alone. So yeah, do some research, find out, and experiment. Mr. X, I was rescued from the man? No, you weren't. You're on this mission. You're on Duna. Of course you were rescued. Will you think I'd leave you there? Oh, and from Veos himself. Hell, I would even say that was better than my attempt at all those years ago. Great job, buddy. Yeah, he's on about my last Kerbal Quest episode, which was an Apollo 11 style landing, which I thought was quite awesome. Who else have we got? Sander Ajo. Yes, you are a Kerbal. It's been your dream for, since you found the channel two weeks ago. <laughs> and what is it? 118, he was about to say Kerbal. I think, I can't remember, I can't, <laughs> I'm terrible at remembering things, even in my own videos. Anyway, Monkey Tay, I finally did it, I landed on the man, and returned back to Kermit. By the way, thanks for your update man tutorial. Yeah, I've done a man landing tutorial, or well, a redone one, so yeah, if you, if you need that, then it's there. Anyway, also, my Monkey Tay, if I have a quick look... He has put a challenge to me that you may be able to do. He says, what you can do is challenge, build an SSTO base challenge, return the SSTO to Kerbin, not to the base, and you send the base to easy, four Kerbals to Duna, medium, five Kerbals to Dres, hard, seven Kerbals to Eve, impossible, 15 Kerbals to Lathe. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I haven't got the time to do them because I have already planned my next couple of videos including some tutorials anyway I've missed half the Kerbal so I'm gonna lead them off on my spreadsheet which I keep of all the cool names we have John Benson Kerman we have I Spike Gaming Kerman Mr. X Kerman Zar Philippe Kerman Travis Kerman A77 E Kerman Sander Kerman and Games Met Olki Christiansen Kerman. <laughs> what a mouthful of a name that is. And that those are the Kerbals that are on this mission. I've also given them all bull helmets because they said they're stronger. Now I've done things like try crashing the Kerbal into the ground. No, his helmet doesn't break. I even tried one to remove his helmet. Why don't you remove your helmet, guys? You have to do it to swap your helmets. See, yeah, no. Not enough oxygen on this planet. <laughs> Anyhow, if you enjoyed this video, crank that like button like an engineer. And if you want to have your Kerbal added, don't forget to type Kerbal and Kerbal letters. In other words, spell Kerbal, Kerbal correctly, otherwise I'll miss it. And now we leave these Kerbals alone on Duna with no way to return to Kerbin. Yes, we have to send a mission to rescue them. And who broke those solar panels? I've only just noticed that. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Crank that like button like an engineer. All I can say here is I'm Orbiter. Trust me, I'm an engineer. And my lunar Mars rover business bases are engineered with a lifetime warranty.